Hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and today we're going to be talking about Chatter and a few different things within Chatter. Now, on almost every record in Odoo, you can find the records Chatter on the right or on the bottom of the page. Now, this depends on the browser size and your screen's resolution. Now, in the Chatter, we can see a timeline of updates related to the record such as the date it was created, when it was moved, everything that has to do with stages as well. Now we can even use the chatter to log things such as internal notes or to send messages to our clients. It's easy to keep track of communications when everything is in the chatter. There's never any confusion when everything is laid out in the records chatter like this. So let's dive into the Stealthywood database to see what all the chatter is about. Here we are on the CRM dashboard and let's click into a record. We can pick any record. In our instance, let's click on the quote for 150 carpets because that is a suspicious amount of carpets. Now it should be noted that most records in Odoo have a similar structure. One section is the record itself as we see over here on our left. And one section is also the chatter which we see over here on our right. It could be also at the bottom of your screen, depending on your screen size. Now, no matter what record you're on, whether it's a lead like this or a sales order, the chatter will always have the same basic components. And now you're probably asking yourselves, Jose, what are those components? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Now, the main part of the chatter is the discussion, which we see over here. Now, this is a timeline of the record's events and changes, as well as any messages, logged notes, and scheduled activities. Now, if I click, for instance, let's say over here onto this edit button, and we want to give this one a phone number, a very real, very legitimate phone number, we can do so and then hit save. You'll notice something cool happens. Now, once that we did this, we can see a new line appear in the chatter over here. Both the action and the person who performed the action are automatically recorded by Odoo. Now, isn't that convenient? We can see that Mitchell Admin has added a phone number. Now, on any chatter entry, I can also hover over the entry and give it a little emoticon. In our case, we're going to do a laughing emoji. And I can also star it. And what starring does is it saves it to my favorites for later viewing in the Odoo Discuss module. Now, follow me here. I want to attach a PDF of the original email that my client, Eric, over here, wanted. So he sent me this when he first reached out to our company. In order to do that, I can just open the file explorer and I can drag and drop the file into the chatter. But what if I told you there was a cooler way to do these things? Now, since this is Odoo, we can also do something smarter. We can click up here onto this paperclip icon and we can also click into here to the add attachments. And what this will do is it'll open up the attachments and allow us to attach them into here. And once we're done, everyone can see this now and understand what I had been talking about with a client. So anyone else who works on this lead with me can easily view this attachment now by opening the actual attachment section. And we can also close this and open it by clicking up here on the paperclip. And isn't that easy? Now I can also delete I, uh, attachments by clicking over here onto this trash can and I can download them directly using these little icons next to them. Now, speaking of this, I need to loop in my coworker Lori over to this card. And how would I do this? Now, we could do this a few different ways, but we wanna do this because this will ensure that she gets notifications on any new activity about this record. Now, in the top right corner of the chatter, I can click over here to the followers button. And as you'll notice, we can add followers here too. And we're gonna do just that. So we're gonna click add followers and we're gonna add Lori. And we're going to let Odoo Autofill do its job. And we're going to also, we want to make sure, by the way, that we have this send email box checked off. And the reason for that is so that Lori can get notified that I've added her as a follower to this lead. And once I'm done with that, I'll click add followers. And boom, Lori is now added as a follower, as we can see by this number up here that has increased. Now, there's a few different things that we can also do in this list for a few advanced features. Now you'll notice a little edit button next to each follower as we can see with this little pencil here. If I click on the pencil next to Lori, this lets me edit the actual notifications for the subscriptions that Lori will end up getting. Now, for instance, I want Lori to be notified of any new activities, notes, and stage changes. So once that I tick these boxes and I hit apply, 
she'll get notifications for that. Now, next to the followers button, we can also see it says following. So what does that mean? Well, since I'm the salesperson for this lead, I am automatically added to the followers list. And what this means is if needed, I can click this over here and I can unfollow the record. I can also go into the followers list and choose which records I want, or sorry, which users I want to remove from this as followers. I could hit the X next to my name and I could hit the X next to anyone else's name too. But for now, I wanna leave that alone because I still want to follow this lead. Now this concludes a few of our little setups and a few overviews of how Chatter works. Now, I also see that Mark has an overdue activity if I'm looking over here now. Poor Mark, two days overdue, send a catalog. So he wanted to send the catalog or the customer a product catalog. We can tell the activity is overdue because it says two days overdue. Yours may say something else. It's arbitrary and it's set up the way that you want. Now we also notice there's a red icon next to Mark's avatar picture. If the activity due date was today, the icon would be orange. And if the due date was still off into the future, the icon would be a very happy green. Now I could click on Mark's avatar to start a chat with him and let him know I can send the catalog, but oh man, there's a white circle around his avatar. And what does this mean? Well, it means he's offline right now. If he were offline, the circle would be green. Now, at least the status indicator isn't an airplane icon, which would mean that he's out of the office taking some time off, sabbatical, holiday. Mark is a busy person. But oh well, I'll go ahead and send the email to Eric for him. Now, of course, we could do it the old fashioned way. Opening a new tab, opening my email, and composing a new message there. That's a whole lot of steps. And here at Odoo, we talk about saving time. So I'm gonna make my life a lot easier and I'm gonna hit the send message button. And once that I do so, since Eric's email is already saved on the record, as we see over here, there's a little checkbox with his email right here in the message box. Now I wanna check that box and we're gonna see something cool also happen. As you notice, when I do this, the box pops up wanting additional customer info. Now I'm gonna add his full name, which in this case, we can do so immediately because Eric has left this, his full name with exception in his email. Now, once that we're done here, where we can actually just hit save, that's all we needed here. And now he is added. Now I can type my message and attach the product catalog that Mark Demo wanted to. So what do we wanna tell him? We wanna say, hi Eric, here's the catalog. And we wanna put some exclamations. And then in order to do so, we're gonna click into this paperclip and we're gonna attach our beautiful catalog. Once this is done, everything is pretty much set up. Now, I can also do something kind of cool here and I wanna show you real quick. I type a colon and I hit buy. We have a few shortcuts to save even more time because Odoo allows you to have what's called a canned response. And what is a canned response? A canned response is a pre-configured text shortcut that you can use to save even more time. So once this is done, we can go ahead and hit send. So once that we do that, we pretty much have a new card entry down here, or sorry, a new activity entry that we see over here. It's a little copy of our message. Now, if I wanted to change the subject line of a message or do anything, by the way, we would click back up here and to send a message. And if you see this little icon, if we click into it, it allows us to do a few different changes. Now this pop out is good for special emails or for emails that have advanced HTML options, but we've already messaged Eric, so we can close this out. Now, once that I have sent this message, by the way, it notifies all the followers of the record. And because I checked that box next to Eric's email earlier, it also sent an email to Eric. Now here's the nice thing. The message ends up popping up in the chatter and guess what ended up happening as well? Eric is now a follower over here. Eric will now receive updates. It's so convenient to do all this in one place. And now Lori can see everything as well inside of this, you know, chatter. So we'll always be on the same page. Now, the very last thing that I want to do is I want to send a private note to Lori about this lead. We've followed up on it. We've done a few edits and changes. But since Eric is a follower on this record, he'd be able to see it if I hit the send a message button. 
So how, what do we do in this instance? Now, I don't want him to see private messages meant for Lori or to get bothered by unnecessary email notifications. We like Eric. So luckily, I can use the log note feature. And what this button ends up doing is it logs notes for any notes or messages that I don't want external parties to see. Now, we're going to mention Lori here. So we're going to type her in. Oop. Little old dupesy there, my apologies. There we go, and it pops up now. And I'm gonna type my message. In this case, we're gonna let her know. Eric, Eric prefers email. And then once we, we do this, we can also type a few different things, such as a hashtag, and we can choose what is called an Odoo Discuss channel here. In this case, we're gonna tag sales in here. And once that this does, is it directs Lori to the good advice on converting leads to sales that my salespeople have been discussing on that channel. Now, once that this is all done and it looks perfect, we can go ahead and hit log. Now, it will pop up as a line within the chatter as well and Lori will be notified. Now, the log note feature is great for internal messages and private notes about the record. Now, if I need to, I can also always hover over any chatter entries that I've created and I can click and edit on them directly in the event that I misspelled something or I wanna edit everything. Now I can also delete the entry by clicking on the trash can icon as well. So today we saw how the chatter keeps all relevant updates and messages right next to its record. The simple and intuitive layout makes it easy for everyone to be on the same page at all times. And it allows us to pick up right where we left off. Now you be sure to check out our other video tutorials to learn more about how to schedule activities using the chatter. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.